I'm James Walsh. You can find me on Twitter at Mancunian Birder. I'm online mancunianbirder.wordpress.com and I'm here to tell you about my new book Foul Future Volume 1. Foul Future is part of the Northern Greenhouse project which is a project to transfer the north to a green economy, ecotourism, sustainable agriculture and renewable energy and the filed is a major part of the Northern Greenhouse project. Uh, the Fylde in Lancashire, it stretches from the River Ribble estuary up to Pilling in the north and incorporates Fleetwood, which is where I am here at the Russell Point Marine Ecology Centre. And uh, Blackpool is probably the what you'd call the central point of the Fylde. In the winter we get flocks of thousands of pink-footed geese uh, in the summer we get dolphins, we get terns, we get all sorts of breeding birds on the farmlands and basically the Fylde could become a world class ecotourism site. Uh, we've also got the windmill as the symbol as the Fylde. Uh, the windmill is one of the original forms of renewable energy and renewable energy could be big here on the Fylde. Uh, the Fylde it literally means a field and the fields of the Fylde could become a new place for sustainable agriculture, community farming and permaculture. And basically all these themes are being discussed in my new book, Fylde Future Volume 1, available now on Amazon Kindle. The ecotourism industry is an industry on the rise both globally and nationally. People wanting to see wildlife on the Fylde should go to fyldebirdclub.org where there is daily updates of sightings and you can also join the Fylde Bird Club and blackpoolwildlifesites.co.uk where Blackpool's very own Mr Wildlife updates regularly on the wildlife sightings of Blackpool. Ecotourism has its own seasons. In the springtime, there are birds on migration from Africa heading north through the Fylde. In the summertime, we get uh, terns and dolphins. In the autumn, it's a good time for sea watching in the right conditions and we also get autumn migration of birds such as northern wheat ears that are heading south towards Africa and some days on the field you can get see a lot of numbers of birds on visible migration. In the winter attention turns to the Icelandic pink footed geese that fly in from Iceland this year the first family party have arrived on the 1st of September quite early and we have coined the phrase the pink footed pound due to the fact that the pink footed geese uh, create millions of pounds for the tourism industry in Lancashire. Martin Mere Wildfowl and Wetlands Trust Reserve 
near Southport is estimated to make £5 million per year for the local economy and the Fylde is perfectly situated to have a similar nature reserve such as Martin Bay in the fields here. Each season on the field has its own special selection of wildlife and in the autumn migration we have birds like the northern wheat here that have just bred in the highlands of Scotland, the highlands of northern England and both adults and juveniles are making their way south and heading to Africa for the winter.
one of the classic scenes you'll see on a seaside postcard in Blackpool is the gulls and to many tourists these are just seagulls that are something to see when you're on holiday and maybe they're a bit annoying when they're nicking your chips but to the serious bird watcher uh, gulls are a fascinating uh, subject to look at and uh, here on the Fylde places such as the uh, Fleetwood docks and the Blackpool seafront are full of gulls and any Larophile could uh, take a lot of time to look at the gulls and maybe find something mega like a laughing gull or a Franklin's gull. One of the special aspects of the Fylde ecosystem is the marine environment. As you can see, we're here on Blackpool North Beach. You can see Blackpool Tower and the North Pier here. And uh, we're looking for dolphins and porpoises and whales. There's been Risso's dolphin, Bottlenose dolphin, Harbour porpoise and Minky whale along with grey seal seen this summer uh, the marine environment is very special here you can also see seabirds such as uh, skewers and terns passing through here, uh, especially when there's the uh, westerly gales. You can see quite a lot of seabirds along the seafront on, on the Fylde. We also have the potential for pelagic trips, the Fowl Bird Club have done a couple of pelagic trips out into the sea and uh, seen a few seabirds but there is a lot of potential on the Fylde for dolphin spotting trips, certainly some of the fishing trips do see dolphins and an organised dolphin and seabird trip would be uh, a particular boost for the ecotourism industry here.
Houston, we have a problem and it's called climate change. Climate change is a subject that our politicians and business leaders and community can no longer ignore. We've had severe flooding in the north of England uh, that's been experienced in places like Cumbria, Lancashire and in the River Irwell in Salford and Manchester and we really have to have a long-term ecological plan for the north of England. The north of England could be and should be a world leader in renewable energy technology and the Fylde could be a great place to start. What might the Fylde look like in 20 years time, 50 years time, 100 years time? Can we start planning now for the future? Should we be building eco colleges, eco universities, so that people of the Fylde can gain qualifications in renewable energy and eco-tourism? Let's think about the future and let's build the future together. Fylde Future, Volume 1, available now on Amazon Kindle. Let's all be the future makers of the Fylde.